welcome to another lesson in the TI 30X Plus Math Print student course. In this lesson, we show how to use the calculator to perform binomial distribution calculations. In particular, we will show use of the binomial PDF command. To access the binomial distribution commands, we simply press second and data, scroll across to highlight distributions. And then if we arrow down, we see that binomial PDF is next to the number four. Now, the binomial PDF allows us to calculate a probability, the probability that random variable capital X equals X, given a specified value of N, which is a fixed number of trials, and a fixed probability of success P on each independent trial, where P lies between zero and one. And we also note that we have a formula that the probability that random variable capital X equals X is equal to NCX times P to the X times one minus P to the power of N minus X, and X obviously takes the values zero, one, etc., up to N. So let's have a look at our example. The example says, that if random variable capital X follows a binomial distribution with N equals seven and P equals 0.4, find the probability that X equals four and give your answer correct to four decimal places. Okay, now what we can do is press enter and it takes us to the binomial PDF calculation screen. Notice that we have three choices for X single, list, or all. First of all, I will show you the calculation using the single mode, and then I will show the list and the all mode. So it's a matter now of just pressing enter, and it takes us down where we can now add our values in for N and for P and for X. So N is indeed equal to seven, and P is indeed equal to 0 0.4. If they were different, you could enter those uh, without any dramas. Then down arrow, and with the cursor flashing over the zero there, we require the probability that random variable capital X equals four. So we'll change that to a four. We can press enter again, and that highlights calc, which is short for calculate. Press enter, and it shows us that the probability that random variable capital X equals four is 0 0.1935 correct to four decimal places. Note that we have the option here to either store that result, to solve again, or to quit. Now I'm going to quit out of there. So highlight quit and press enter. Then I'm going to press data to enter the lists, and I'm going to set up the lists to show you how you can perform this calculation using the list mode in the binomial PDF screen. So we press data again, and we're going to scroll across to highlight ops, which is short for options. Then we're going to press number three for sequence. And we want to put a sequence of numbers into L1. So that's good, we press enter. Now, we have N equals seven. So we can actually obtain a list of all the probabilities from the probability that X equals zero through to the probability that X equals seven. So our expression is X. We start at zero because the smallest value for random variable capital X, the smallest value can take is zero largest value is one and the steps, uh, sorry, the largest value is seven and the step size is one. So scroll down to highlight sequence fill. And so we now have our values entered there into the list from zero through to seven. So they're the values that random variable capital X can take. We now go back into our distributions menu so second data, scroll across to distributions, then down to four and press enter. 
And this time what we will do, we will scroll across to highlight list and press enter. Our number of trials N is seven and our probability of success is 0.4. So press enter. Now, the random variable values, the values that X can take are already listed in L1. And what we want to do is we want to save the associated probabilities to L2. So that setup is fine. Then enter or arrow down to highlight calc, which is short for calculate. Press enter. And there we see all our values represented in this list. So for example, the probability that random variable capital X equals zero is 0 0.027, et cetera, et cetera. If we scroll down now to where X equals four, you can see that our answer is 0.1935. So in other words, the probability that X equals four is 0.1935. So all the probabilities there are listed in that list. Now, the all mode is slightly different. So if we press second data, we go across to highlight distributions and then four, and that takes us to the binomial PDF screen. Scroll across to highlight all and then press enter. N is seven, P is 0 0.4. Now what happens this time is that we get all the um, all the probabilities, but we don't get the associated X values. Now, scroll across to highlight L2, press enter, and then press calc, which is short for calculate. Now, those X values, they're there from before. If we had have cleared that list and we would have gone through the all command, then we would just see the associated probabilities. So I think that it's a better idea to use the list mode rather than the all mode because you get the link between the associated probability and the X value as you see there. Finally, we'll go to the home screen and we will confirm our answer using the formula. So first of all, going to um, add an open bracket. Then to add the uh, NCR, first of all, uh, N is seven. Then we press the factorial NCR NPR button. We paste NCR onto the home screen. Then we enter four and then closing bracket. Multiplied by an open bracket, 0 0.4 to the power of four and then arrow to the right and multiply by one minus 0 0.4 close bracket press x to the power our power is three press enter and we see there that correct to four decimal places using the formula that the probability that x equals four is 0 0.1935. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and see you next time.